this, the Janus was Louise's favorite piece. So the Janus really refers to this classical symbol, which was this double-headed figure in Roman times, looking to the past and looking you know, towards the future. And so it's this double-headed form, and it's a form that Louise really gravitated to because it has these polarities. So Louise's, most of Louise's work have these contradictory forms coexisting in one. So here you have this idea of the past and the present, male and female, whether you see it as breasts or penis, it, it has both readings into it. And the same idea of hanging and spinning means it's also always constantly changing and in, 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 in flux. And it just has so many, you know, this idea of it, whether you see it as male or female, whether you see the center very sexual, the idea of molten, this idea of these two forms. And all Louise's forms have multiple readings in a stranger between male and female, between passive, aggressive, you know, between something opened up and something being hidden. I mean, they all have these sort of binary kind of op opposites in a strange way. And I think this piece is strange. She said it's a self-portrait, mm -hmm. which I think is important. She saw it as a self-portrait. So I think, um, and I think it had these contradictory things in herself between, you know. In a political sense, she was a very strong feminist. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, her mother was a strong feminist. You know, Louise, women are edu you know, should be educated. Women should have equal pay, equal money. Abortion, you know, Louise was in that sense a feminist. But I think, you know, in terms of feminists in the art world is something else because I think the feminists, which are younger, sort of embraced Louise as this role model. But she herself, I think, in a way, had an ambivalent relationship because she liked them and she liked that. But I think her work, Louise, you know, doesn't like work that's too political. She thinks if it's too political, it becomes dated in a stranger, it becomes a topic of a moment, but it doesn't. And Louise really believes, however psychological her work is, or however the story's behind all that, in the end, Louise is very formal. The form is, doesn't need any words. The form is, is the most important thing. And I think that she really thought her works, you know, would somehow not be located within this sort of feminist political agenda. I also think when people said, oh, you're a very good woman artist, Louise used to didn't like that. She didn't want to be seen as a woman artist. She thinks the work, you know. And she always said, oh, my, the themes that I'm interested in are pre-gender, like the fear, of the, be, the idea of being jealous or possessive or the fear of abandonment. It's nothing to do with, you know, male or female. 